And hello everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager and the Snowflake, of course. And I'm here to discuss kind of the future of Bioware after Anthem, but also will Bioware make another Star Wars or Mass Effect game after Anthem? But mainly it, we're going to be discussing the future of Bioware and what would probably, probably be the best thing for them to do in all honesty. So, as we all know, Mass Effect is uh, <clears throat> dead, in the, dead in the water, on ice, whatever you want to call it, in cryostasis, sleeping, obliterated, in another galaxy. We have no idea what they're going to do with it. Um, but we do know, what we do know is that Anthem's coming out. It's very real. It's very alive. We saw it at E3 a couple of years, although we're still not impressed by it in, in terms of uh, what makes this an actual Bioware game and why should I give a shit about it? That type of discussion is is always great to talk about, especially when, you know, as my, for myself and for you guys that are also big Bioware fans or RPG fans and just whatever. Anthem still hasn't done it for us. And uh, even after EA, it's still, uh, after the EA press conference, it still hasn't done anything for me yet. So what... What can we do after Anthem comes out? What can what can Bioware do to uh, to shed some light on its future? What what can we get? What can we expect? Um, now there is really no concrete evidence on what they're really doing. Just a couple of quotes here from Casey Hudson, talking about how there's just so many games that he would like to go into. He really enjoyed doing that to Republic. Um, but also it states that uh, he's really, you know, he would like to, but it's just not in the cards right now. He would rather, they would rather work on another Mass Effect game or another Dragon Age sequel. Um, you know, he's really adamant about getting back into Mass Effect. And uh, why wouldn't he, right? This is, the, this is like the project, right? One of the head honchos of one of the greatest franchises ever made. Uh, it's basically a, another Star Wars, uh, like amazing space opera show you know or just game movie franchise whatever you want to call it and i don't blame him i really don't blame him because it's technically his baby you know he really helped kickstart it he got it going he was the one that was so passionate about it and yeah we can all completely understand why he would come back you know for uh like an sos sent from the the creators of of mass effect and drama that the the biggest flop of the year of 2017 probably one of the biggest flops of all game in history besides battlefront 2 which oh yay oh damn bioware and dice um so this is good news for us i i like i i don't like speculating i like making videos that you guys can actually just be like okay yeah he's got nico has some concrete evidence and stuff and all that but like i said this is more of going by what these developers have said and what would be best for what decisions Bioware would make I think it would be a good idea to make to be honest I would rather have them make another Mass Effect game than a Dragon Age game um, just just to redeem themselves but you know I'm, I'm still gonna be glad that I'm still glad there is a Dragon Age game whatever the hell it's gonna come out um, but I'm more but I'm more worried about Mass Effect Dragon Age um, 2 you know was like the big downfall already from dragon age uh, amazing dragon age one uh, in a lot of ways and dragon age inquisition did great things in a lot of ways it got game of the year and stuff like that which was nice although you can say that 2014 didn't have that many big contenders considering from certain articles that um bioware producers or general managers or whatever you want to call it would like to say that you know comparing oh andromeda was released on this year and uh, within this month against i guess these big contenders like like whoever talks about like oh man it's because the competition was so tough then why did you release it half ass and why did you release it in that uh that fiscal period anyway should just fucking delayed it another six months or something right even though it was already delayed but you know you get the idea. 2014, the comparisons to 2014 apparently didn't have any big blockbusters, but please, please. I'm sure there was plenty if we look back through the list. Um, but anyway, I, me personally, on what Bioware should do, like I said, a Mass Effect game should be the main focus. Um, more focused than any other game they've ever done. Now, don't get me wrong. I would love to see a KOTAR 3. Uh, KOTOR 3. Um, I mean, I, I still love playing the Old Republic, but I want to see 
like that old style of role playing that Bioware grew up on, on Neverwinter Nights, Baldur's Gate, Dragon Age Origins, uh, Knights of Republic One. You know, it's big, big hits. You know, even though Jade Empire wasn't like turn based, but you know, that whole like type of gameplay though, where you know, get all the scripted lines and stuff, silent protagonists. All these different outcomes. Like, I love that. I love that. And Dragon Age Origins, to me, was the best that they've ever done when it comes to writing. Uh, and quests and decision-making and all that. Um, but, obviously, the first Knights of Republic was also just as amazing. I mean, come on. But, it, yeah. All in all, it'd be really awesome to see them do something with it. Um, to go back. You know, know your roots. That's how you do it. What made your company so phenomenal and so uh, just to be a, such a commercial success so many companies ha have done this that have gone back and realized that that what they're doing now isn't working and what made their game be awesome in the first place we've seen it with the new doom we've seen it with mortal kombat um i uh, i mean you could even say donkey kong you know because uh, we, you know, there's there was a giant period of not seeing a, a like a, a standalone Donkey Kong game made for a while, um, but mainly mainly the franchises that haven't done so well in a while, and it's good to see them go back and realize what they're doing isn't working, you know. And I really hope that Bioware does do this. Like Mass Effect Andromeda was literally like the the eye opener. I know that they've said so many times that they're going to be more focused on stories and stuff, especially with Anthem. But like I said, we haven't seen anything, so it's really hard to go off with that, with all talk and no action type deal, except uh, all talk and too much action, I guess. Uh, you know, but I would love to see another Knights of Republic game. You know, Casey Hudson said he loved working on it, but obviously. He wants to go back to his own baby, their own franchise they made from scratch. And Mass Effect would be great. Just make Mass Effect great again, you know? As cliche as that sounds, make it great again. Learn from the mistakes, do everything you need to do, and then just go from there. This and and there's so many ways that you can do this to make people respect your company again as, you know, as a whole and EA as a publisher is if you, you know, you do bits and pieces here. You leave a trail. Do that remaster uh, trilogy for, for Mass Effect. Make a new generation of players play that and realize, like, holy crap, this is a really good game. And I know Mass Effect 1 has some dated combat, and I understand that it's, it's a little clunky, but it still gets the job done. It still has amazing writing, amazing voice cast, amazing graphics. For its, It was phenomenal at its time. It was just holy shit you know go back and just remind people why your games are so great in the first place hell you know do a dragon age trilogy remaster i don't know something you know leave leave nice little little tidbits here and there do some promotional stuff do some cool stuff to make the remind us why we fell in love with the franchise to begin with um, I mean, a book is great for Mass Effect Andromeda, right? For some people, you know, that like reading and they want to see what's going to happen. Like with the whole Quarians and all that. And like their, their you know, spaceship being like derelict or coming in with an SOS and nobody knows what the hell happened to it on, you know, with Ryder in the gang. I don't know. Just, it, it shouldn't be complicated. It, just know your roots. Go back and make which, what was great in the begin with. And just, like I said, remind us. Remind us. Like, I mean, I, it's a toss-up between Knights of Republic 3 or Mass Effect 4. To be honest, there's already enough Star Wars stuff being made. And as much as much as I like to see this be made, there are just way too many Star Wars movies. There's way too many Star Wars just everything. There's just too much right now. TV shows, movies, comics, uh, games being made that are just half-assed. I, I, you know, just let, let that be. Let other companies do that. Casey Hudson should just make another Mass Effect game. And yes, it should have everyone's favorite, Commander Shepard. It should have Commander Shepard come back. I'm sorry. Like, it'd be neat to see the, the closure that we get for Mass Effect and Andromeda, but... You know, I don't even want to consider Mass Effect and Andromeda canon. Like, oh gosh. Like, oh gosh. Just watch all the videos on why Mass Effect... Andromeda's story is so bad and how it just doesn't make sense with the canon. It's really ridiculous with the original trilogy canon and all that. 
Um, it's it's really bad. It's really bad. Uh, you can just watch Dishonored Wolf's Mass Effect Andromeda review. That'll definitely explain a lot. Um, but it'd be good to see, you know, everyone loves Commander Shepard. Everyone loves female Shep, of course, because I'm really glad that female Shep got, uh, you know, a makeover in Mass Effect 3. You know, she looked like a pretty cool redhead with green eyes. It was awesome. But I, you know, I always love picking OG Commander Shepard, someone who's got that amazing leadership archetype quality. R R Scott Ryder didn't have any of that. That guy didn't know what the hell he was doing half the time. Uh, it was just, he had nothing interesting to say. He had no cool speeches. He was just some boring character. I did like the voice actor though for him, but still. But anyway, folks, I didn't mean to ramble for so long. I just wanted to kind of d do a little discussion of what I think that they should do. I know there was some plenty more things to tackle, but I don't want to make this video an hour long of just me going on rants and ramblings. But I just want to let you know that this is, you know, a good it's a very very high possibility the mass effect will definitely see the limelight again and then i mean possibly we might see a nice another knights of republic game you never know you never know with developers you know you never know with ea apparently anything that makes the money right but like, like i said leave your comments and thoughts below and uh what you th what you think the future of bioware will turn into do you want to see a, a new star wars kotor 3 or just a bioware star wars game in general or the next mass effect installment let me know. And thanks again, folks. Pathfinder, stay safe. Don't let those Corian ship distress calls get the better of you. You're better than that. Do your own thing. Solve Mass Effect and Drama's plot holes and garbage.